In this beaker could be the secret to a longer life. The potion is an extract from the ghetto flower, a plant traditionally eaten in the Japanese prefecture of Okinawa. This scientist says it's responsible for the area's age-old reputation of having the longest life expectancy in the world. Okinawans have always eaten muchi in December when it's really cold. It's a sort of rice paste wrapped in a ghetto leaf. People say it helps ward off colds for children and it gives you vitality and energy. A claim that may have some truth to it. In experiments conducted on worms, scientists from the University of the Ryukyus found that subjects exposed to the plant live over 22% longer. They're hoping the discovery will put the plant back on menus across Japan. These days, young people eat too much fast food. Life expectancy is dropping considerably. We're talking about a social illness. That's why I think it's high time to get back to our local culinary traditions. Steakhouses, bagel stands and Mexican food stalls are everywhere in Okinawa. And the eating habits of the 19,000 American troops stationed here are rubbing off on the locals. There are now more obese men here than anywhere else in the country. But on this market, the ghetto is slowly making a comeback in an unlikely way. In Okinawa, we've always consumed ghetto as a tea, and it does keep you young. But you can also make an alcohol-free beauty tonic from it. You apply it on your skin after a bath, and it's effective against wrinkles. Several kilometers away in the ghetto fields, Farmers have big plans for their crop. We don't want to be content just with Okinawa anymore. We want to conquer the international market and export ghetto. This elixir of youth may not be the only reason for the remarkable life expectancy of Okinawans, but it could put a spring back in the step of the local economy.